how exactly do you wear a kilt? And what's the right way? So we're talking about today, everybody, KT369. I've seen an awful lot of questions in the past couple of weeks asking all kinds of questions about how to wear the kilt and all of the accoutrements and accessories and all the other things that go with the kilt. Well, guess what? They're all okay. Totally okay. I've said it a million times, the only hard and fast rule that you should all follow is the pleats. These things right here go in the back. And if there's a basting stitch, you take it out. Other than that, swing for the fences. Can you wear socks, kilt hose, with a modern utility style kilt? Yes. Do you have to be formal to wear flashes? No. Can you wear formal jackets with a utility style kilt? Yes. Do you have to wear specific types of shoes with your kilts? Absolutely not. Does your kilt actually have to look like a real kilt? No. If you're confident with what you're wearing and you're comfortable wearing whatever it is you have on, so be it. I have friends that wear caftans. I have pe friends that are guys that are straight that wear skirts. It happens. And it's totally fine. There is no hard and fast rule. Now, if you're trying to be a, a textbook traditionalist, then yes, you have a set of pseudo semi-arbitrary rules that you have to follow based on historical images and documentation on various time periods throughout the kilt's evolution from the great kilt to what I'm wearing now and all of the pieces in between. That being said, if you want to wear a specific kilt, then put it on. Pretty much end of discussion. If you're confident and comfortable with what you have on, then you can wear it. Now, if you're looking for event specific or any of those kind of things where you're like trying to be formal or you're trying to be as informal as humanly possible or trying to match things up, that's a whole different story. But if you have a kilt and you have the desire to wear it and you're comfortable wearing your kilt the way you want to wear it, the only person that can effectively tell you no is yourself. There are purists who will tell you that you're wearing it wrong. There are some people who are telling you that you can't wear that at all and that it's not a real kilt. Fine. Let them believe what they want. Does it actually impact your life? I'm going to throw out there that probably not. A lot of people have a lot of very, very, very significant issue with non-traditional, non-tartan kilting. Guess what? If that's not you, then who cares? If you like your non-tartan kilt, if you like your utility kilt, if you like your whatever the hell you want to call it, it could be a Red Sox blanket wrapped around your waist tied up with a piece of rope. If you're happy with it, fine. Don't worry about it. And for those of you who have decided that it's your God-given right, or whatever you believe right, to dictate from on high who can and can't wear what, well then, I highly suggest you find a hobby. Because I, I strongly believe that you're wrong. Um, trying to dictate what other people can wear, when that has nothing to do with what you're doing, I, I don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me. I understand trying to keep with tradition. I understand trying to hold a cultural identity together. That's fine. But if that person has, doesn't want anything to do with that, then why does it matter? Just throwing it out there. So, again, you can wear what you want, how you want, the way you want. Tartan, utility with chocks, with combat boots, with ghillies, skeins, doesn't matter. Whatever it is. As long as you're comfortable and you're happy with what you're wearing, then go for it. So I'm going to throw out, I'm going to see if I have my glasses with me, and then we'll um, see if we can't find some Kiltology. Somebody do me a favor. I've been picking for a very long time. Somebody pick a Kiltology volume, either volume one or volume two. Oh my god, my glasses are horribly messy. found this cool little glass wiper thing. It's a miracle. I don't know how I lived without it. 
Then again, I'm not sure how I lived without glasses for so long anyway. Hey, Frank, Terrence, Angela. Hey, everybody. Oh, and Kim, whenever you um, whenever you wind up looking at the, watching, do me a favor and let me know how the voice lessons are going. I recall you said something about having voice lessons. So I'd love, or that's either voice or guitar. Either way, I'd love to hear how those are going. Kelly, with volume one. It's Kiltology. It's on Amazon. Go buy a copy. Well, we're talking about problems. So, here we go. Kiltology number 77. A kilt does not have mystical powers to help fix your melon or deal with most medical issues. But, get enough kilties in the same place at the same time, and you'll almost always forget you had any problems to start with. Especially a few I'd rather not name here. They can talk enough BS to make your head spin right off. Kilties I'm talking about. Friends of mine that I've had for very many years who one day soon I will have a dream with you folks. So problems. It happens. You get enough people together, they go away because ultimately when people get together they want to have, you know, they want to enjoy each other's company. They want to actually have a good time. So with that, I'll let you go. Um, I did notice a couple of the comments from last night's challenge. Uh, I'd love to see some more. Uh, do something for somebody else without spending money. With that, I'll let you go. You guys have a good night. I will see you tomorrow. Be strong. Put a kilt on.